All right, guys. Uh, okay, now for the arm bar, I want you guys to start controlling both wrists. Okay? So you guys are going to control both wrists against your body. Now I'm going to go with the hands under and going to cross the elbow right here. As I cross the elbow, I want the leg go over his shoulder now. I'm going to do this. Boom. Okay? Now I grab him real good. Now I keep a few steps because I have his, his upper body in control right now. You know, just block the face, test the leg over, make it very tight. Okay? So I control both arms, go with one hand under, cross the elbow to the middle of my body. Now my leg go over, right here on top of the shoulder. I climb here. I track him right here, hold him a little bit, push the face, test the leg over, see what? It's very tight. The secret for that uh, BCC is you need to do that little move with your hips to pass the leg over. So that's make real head on top of my opponent and make it hard to reposture up. So I start control both, both arms, hands go here, cross the elbow, up, pop. Grab him right here, or just pass the leg over, I have the elbow. So what's going to do different? He's holding it right here, which is very tight, you pull it this way. So what I was showing the hold right here, it's different. You won't get the fuzz, it's not going to be the same enough. He grabs the elbow, pulls, and now I'm stuck. And when I do this, swing the leg, grab it here, make that very tight, see my hips off, completely off the mat. That's make tight. So my hips here, he can push it up, maybe go in. But if he, I have all my weight on my legs, I'll make it hard. And I pass the leg over, have the arm back. Okay? That's that? Let's go back. So now, I'm gonna use, start with the back grip, right? And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Hands under, I'm gonna put my hands right there. So now, I go to him listen the top of the head. So I don't want to push him here. He can't resist. So I push him here, I got a little bit stronger. So I pull, when he try to resist to come back, that's when I shift my, uh, my leg and go to the arm bar. Okay? So one more time. So I start with the ball freeze, go heads under, push all the way here, go top of the head, push down, and push it up. That's when I swing for the arm bar. He helped me, he gave me the thing. One more time, I'm gonna take my hips away to the mat, ankle down, and I use that mode to hold the arm. I can go here with the hand, but I like to have one hand free in case he comes to grab the hand, and I can use to release and prevent that, right? So one more time. Hold the both wrist, hands under, cross the elbow, top of the head, you resist, shift. My leg go right away behind the neck, use that grip, both ankles down, hips on the mat, I have a good pressure to submit my opponent. Okay, you guys got it? You miss me, she didn't grab the chin. See, what's up, baby? I got my own fish. It's gonna be hard, yeah. I'm gonna get your boat too, then. Yeah. So, one more time here, cross, top of the head, and he help him. Legs right there behind. Okay? And have the arm button. Alright. Let's go, guys. I like to do the triangle often when the guy tries to escape the arm bar. So, sometimes the guy, when he's here, I go for the arm bar and I have two arms. If you are on out, I switch both around. That's how I do that situation. But most of the time, if you are reaching here, I will keep fighting for the arm. I don't want to switch for triangle here without any reason. But if I'm in that situation, I put one arm out, I have a chance to go here. Depends. Also, some people like triangles better than the other triangles naturally. Some people like arm locks better. Some people have short legs, hard to find. Some people have long legs, love triangles. So, but your question? Yeah. Alright. So, question. Anything else? Alright. Open mat and we'll shake hands. Good job.